Alrighty. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm excited to bring you spooky sounds. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at a variety. I've got so many things here. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. I have done videos on many of these instruments that are a little more in depth, but I wanna share with you because it is Halloween time. By the way, this is World Drum Club swag, you guys, but Halloween colors. Shake it. Um, today we're gonna be doing lots of things. I want to show you right away, uh, a lot of the sounds you were just hearing in the little loop track that I did were these instruments. I'm going to show you what they are, how they're played, how we record them, how we make them spooky, even if they don't start off spooky. So let's get right to it. What were we just listening to? Let's go one by one down the row and um, yeah, I'll tell you <laughs> what we were doing. Here's the track I just put in the looper. So let's take it one by one. Okay, so those, now, a bell ringing in the distance can be kind of spooky, but what's even spookier is two bells that are slightly out of tune with each other, right? And then I'm going to be doing each of these with effects too, so let's put the reverb on, and I'm going to use this mic, which is a better mic and you can hear the effect. So that's about how much reverb we're, we're working with here. I might crank it up a little, just, just because it's an effect. All right, next, let's listen. One of my favorites. So this is this instrument. And it's a whistle. And uh, I'm not sure where I got this. I think Mexico. And it's got kind of a, like a, some sort of cat, big cat face, like a puma or something. And then a man inside saying, help me. Uh, but this is a whistle. Let's go to this camera. And uh, <gasps> sounds like that. <gasps> But when you blow a little harder and you modulate it, you get some pretty cool sounds. I don't know about you, but if I heard that outside, I would not go outside to see what it was. All right, next, what do we have? All right. Let me show you. I got this one in Mexico City, I remember. And the modern version of this uh, is called the Thunder Tube. I'm gonna bring this up a little and focus it. So you can see a little bit better. Very nicely made, this one. Uh, you can see where the spring is attached to the inside of the head. It's got a drum head, spring. And it sounds like this. Uh, this is without the effects. But here's the key. If you move it close to the mic, and I'll show you right now, um, you get a proximity effect, which is a you get you get more of the lows. this. Don't you love that? Very much in the spooky camp. Spooky category. Undeniable. A couple other little whistles. 
Let's look at them and we'll do them together. This one, uh, these are called, I think, Death Whistles. It's kind of an ominous name. So far, as far as I know, every time I've, I've used these, nothing bad has happened, uh, at least to me. <laughs> so I, I could be inadvertently causing harm, but I don't think so. Uh, this one is kind of a raven face. I know it's hard to see against the black, but isn't that cool? Like a raven or crow. And this one, just a little guy. Little guy in there. Um, yeah, so let's listen to him. Super spooky, you guys. I don't think there's any doubt we're in the spooky category. All right, what's left here? One more whistle. Now, bear with me for a minute. This is a duck call. It's actually an Acme duck, Acme, it's a real thing. It's not just on the Roadrunner. Acme duck call, uh, it's for hunting, presumably, unless you're into ducks in a weird way. I'm gonna say it's for hunting. All right, so it sounds like this. Not spooky, <laughs> but if you play it differently, all right, that last one. Not spooky, more whiny, but hey, what's the lesson here? The lesson is it's not, you know, necessarily the instrument that is spooky or not, although some definitely are a little more spooky. It's how you play it, right? It's the musician, right? It's not the car, it's the driver. So that's also part of what's going on here. All right, let's listen again. And then... All right, let's go here first. This was in the looper, and then we'll do that other one. So this I got in Mexico as well, I believe. It's like a party sound, you know, toy. And I'll show you how it's typically played, but it's kind of similar to the thunder drum, right? It's got a little uh, membrane here, the drum head, if you will. And then it's got a string attached. It's got this stick, which has like a rosin on it, like a tar-like rosin, and it's squeaky. And then when you combine all that, you can see the head there and the, how the string is attached. When you combine all that, you get that. Now, if we're swinging this around, it's just annoying <laughs> and loud. But if we play it, you know, musically, Pretty cool. All right, I don't know the name. Maybe you do leave it in the comments. All right, last one. What in the heck? All right, so that is this, my friends. Now, this has different names. Some people call it a wind wand. It's related to the bull roar. Uh, it's basically, this one is a frame dowel uh, and frame cross crossbars that uh, has rubber bands. Right? This has rubber bands stretched across the frame. Now, even though it does have a string attached that, you know, it's hard to see, it's black. 
uh, has a string attached that you could swing it all around. I'm not going to do that here because there's too much stuff around me. So what I do sometimes, or what I did um, for the recording there, is I just play it like a stick. Get the string out of the way. It takes a second for the rubber bands to get going, but once they do, um, they keep vibrating. So let's go to the other mic. That last part's not really part of it. That was an extra bonus for you guys, because I appreciate you. Pretty cool, right? Um, and it's great for getting mosquitoes away from yourself. Actually, look up bull roar and look how uh, look up how people sometimes use it to deter, deflect, and uh, deny swarms of locusts and other insects. Watch the beginning of the Exorcist movies, one of them. I don't know, maybe the first one. They were using that. So is this in the spooky category? Obviously. All right, so that's the wind wand uh, slash bull roar. Before we leave the little table, why is a bundled stick spooky? Well, listen, when you play it a certain way, I'm just gonna do it with the effect. It's better with this mic and the reverb. Check it out, bundled plastic stick, listen. can even include the sound of a small airplane. <laughs> what do you think of that though, right? So again, it's not like, of course this is made for drummers, but you know, using something as an effect, I mean, I thought that was pretty creepy, uh, like something going on, you know, when you hear that, like if you heard this down a dark hallway, at the end of a dark hallway, Would you go down there? I wouldn't. That's the point. All right, spooky journey. We're getting over into some of the bigger instruments now. So um, another thing that you can do, actually before we, before we get to the symbol, I wanna show you these things. These are called devil chasers, uh, among other things. I don't know what other names they might have, but they're bamboo split shaped and... <laughs> now I know Right off the bat, not necessarily spooky, but I happen to have a couple that are tuned to a tritone. Devil Chaser is getting too old for the game. I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe an action scene for spookiness. Anyway, those are Devil Chasers. Now, let's take our cello bow that we got. That's a student model. Not a good bow, don't worry. Get a cheap bow. I couldn't find my rosin, so I'm not getting the best performance right now. But, you know, I'm doing this for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. 
Check it out. Symbol Boeing. Now, um, better technique going up, because you can get the notes started. Lots you can do with a cymbal. This is a small cymbal for this, I'm not gonna lie. So I would typically, or ideally, use a larger cymbal. You can also use a gong. This is a very tiny gong, but I will use a larger gong in a second, but check it out. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's go to the big gong and I'm going to set it up. But you've you've all heard that before. You've all heard this bowed metal sounds. Uh, percussionists, especially studio musicians, studio percussionists who work in the film industry, they've uh, been doing this kind of stuff for years, for decades. So think back, you've seen spooky, you know, people walking through a spooky house or haunted house or, you know, the forest or something. And you hear this... Uh, really uh, filling, uh, tooth filling, rattling kind of um, sounds. That's usually what it is, some sort of metal sound. It could be a cymbal, could be other metal things. Cymbals are very common. Gong's pretty common. Let's get the big gong set up. And um, while I'm doing that, you guys can leave your questions in the comment area. I'm gonna hang this up and I might have to move the camera. So think of a question and um, actually, if you have a specific question for me, you can, uh, you can put that at, uh, on the Patreon, Patreon, Patreon site, which is patreon.com. You guys know, patreon.com slash Kalani. That's where, uh, you get more of your questions answered, but let's do this right now and talk about how you can um, use a gong to get different sounds. Now, uh, first we're gonna start with the, with the bow, typical bow. Yeah, let's go to the other mic. There we go. So the bow is super effective. I'm not going to go on and on. With it. If, ideally for a gong this size, though, I'd probably want to use a bass bow. This is a cello bow, so it's better for cymbals. But you could use a bass bow. I'm going to quickly show you some other things you can do. Other effects. One is to scrape it with a metal sound. And here's another sound I know you guys have heard a lot. You just hear this, the good old gong scrape. Classic. Uh, you can do that on the edge as well. And then there's also this, which is a, this is just a uh, spray paint top, spray paint can plastic lid.
right, you guys. Um, ooh. <laughs> How do you like my new hat? Welcome to my palace of spookiness. All right, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, you know, give it a like. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications. And see us at patreon.com slash Kalani where I can answer your questions like, where do I find some of these things? Or where can I never hear these things ever again in my life? <laughs> um, I do appreciate you guys uh, hanging out on the channel. Uh, I want to remind you that you can get this right below in the links at Teespring. Support the channel and look cool for Halloween. Um, thanks. I hope you've enjoyed Spooky Sounds, Halloween, uh, special Halloween edition. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Ha 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 